Today we are going to discuss about maternal effect genes. So first of all, welcome all of you to my channel Free Life Science Class. This is part two video of maternal effect genes. If you are not seen the part one video, the introduction to maternal effect genes, please see that video also. And this is Purnima and I welcome all of you to my class. So let's start our class about maternal effect. So what are maternal effect genes? So we have seen this in part one video. Once again, I am saying about maternal effect genes that genes which are coming from mother's genome and they will determine the phenotype of the offspring. So by a small sentence, we can say like this, the mother's genotype determine a phenotype of the offspring. Okay. So these genes are basically needed for the early stages of embryo development and a normal development of an embryo need these genes. So what are the functions of maternal effect gene in the egg? We can say that. So one of the thing is that these genes will determine the polarity of the embryo. So what is polarity? What is polarity? Polarity means you know that the egg will form an anterior or a posterior, I'm sorry, anterior and posterior axis, dorsal and ventral axis. Likewise, the polarity will develop in the egg. So for this, we need a maternal effect genes. So maternal effect genes determine the polarity of the embryo. You can see two different types of cell in the egg. That is nurse cell and follicle cell. So this nurse cell here in this picture, you can clearly see that these are the nurse cell and these are the follicle cell. So these two cells have a very, very important function during the early developmental stages. That is this nurse cell, they will provide nourishment for the developing oocyte. You can see oocyte in this picture. So this nurse cell will provide the nourishment for this oocyte during the early stages. And the next one that is follicle cell. A follicle cell will help in maturing the oocyte during the early developmental stages. So nurse cell will provide nourishment and the follicle cell helps in maturing the oocyte. So these are the two cells which are needed during the early stages of embryo development. And one more important thing is that these nerve cell and follicle cell are responsible for producing maternal effect genes. Okay. So this nerve cell as well as the follicle cell produce maternal effect genes. Okay. These are the nerve cell. They will provide nourishment. Follicle cell, they will provide I'm sorry, they will help in maturing the oocyte. Okay, let's move into the. So let's talk about mechanism of maternal effect genes. Maternal effect gene synthesize transcript or certain products like mRNA or proteins. So these are transported to the oocyte where they form a gradient. Okay, so transcript of all the four genes that is hunchback, bicoid, caudal, nanos are synthesized by the nurse cell and follicle cell and they are sent to the oocyte or transported to the oocyte and these genes expressed in the maternal follicle cell whose product mRNA or protein diffuse into the egg cells to influence its early development. So they form gradients. The gradients of this product are established in the egg cytoplasm followed by the fertilization. Okay. And after that 
subsequent cell division will takes place in zygote and these gradients influence the zygotic gene expression and cause the region differentiation of the embryo so they will help in forming anterior or posterior axis or dorsal ventral axis or form helps in forming different regions like head tail etc okay so the patterning of anterior posterior axis which form near to the completion of gastrulation phase okay when gastrulation phase is about to complete you can see the formation of patterns in zygote okay so this is the mechanism of maternal effect genes and their action is like this this hunchback and bicoid will be seen high in the anterior position and caudal and nanos is seen in high at posterior position this is because this nanos have an inhibitory effect on these two products so the bicoid and hunchback will not express where the nanos is present so nanos is in posterior part so that they will not express in the posterior part likewise the bicoid have an inhibitory effect on these two products hence they will not express in the anterior position okay so when you take this graph you can see that hunchback and caudal they are seen along all the places and bicoid is seen in the anterior and nanos is seen in the posterior but this bicoid will inhibit the caudal so that caudal will only express in the posterior part likewise nanos will inhibit hunchback so that hunchback will only be high in anterior part okay so this is about mrna so here you can see the mrna graph so this is the distribution of mrna so when you make a protein graph you can see like this hunchback and bicoid will be in high in anterior position and the posterior position has caudal and nanos protein so if you uh, take mrna concentration you can see like this hunchback and bicoid proteins are seen all over the embryo and bicoid is seen in the Uh, anterior position and nanos is seen in the posterior position okay so bicoid mrna is not in the posterior it is like this it's only from like this and nanos nanos is like this okay this is all about mrna concentration and we are already have other two genes that is tall and torso these are also have a role in the early embryonic developmental stages and these are also example for maternal effect genes they are tall and torso this torso uh, gene will help in forming the extremities of anterior and posterior axis so this torso is seen high in anterior as well as in posterior axis but not in the middle region so the torso are seen in the extremities of anterior and posterior axis like tall tall is seen in the dorsal ventral axis so they are seen in the dorsal ventral axis not in the anterior and posterior part so it is high in the middle portion okay so tall this is tall this is torso so here it is hunchback this is caudal and this is bicoid and this is nanos okay this is tall t o l l tall and this is torso okay so let's move into the okay now let's talk about segmentation genes what are segmentation genes segmentation genes are the genes 
that are seen in the zygote they are not maternal effect genes that means they are not coming from maternal genome they are synthesized in the zygote hence we call this as zygotic genes okay they are zygotic genes and these genes are induced by the maternal effect genes so when the maternal effect gene form the polarity inside the egg or they form gradient in the cytoplasm after that the maternal effect gene induce this segmentation gene to be active for expressing the segmentation genes so any genes that are involved in the early stages of pattern formation we call them as segmentation genes or we can call that these genes are responsible for the formation of segments okay so segmentation genes control the development or the small repeated regions of the body that will make a specific body structure and you can see there are different types of segmentation genes mainly the segmentation genes are classified into three that are gap genes pair rule genes and segment polarity genes these genes will help in setting boundaries okay they will help in forming body segments so we can go through each of these gene in the part 3 video where we explain each of these gene in detail okay so if you have any doubt regarding the mechanism of maternal effect genes you can frankly ask it in the comment box and also if you like my video please give me a thumbs up it will be a great support for me and also if you are new to my channel please subscribe to my channel and also click on the bell icon and click the all button so that you will get notification when i upload new videos so thank you for watching my video